Oh yeah, definitely knew it. What's up guys, MTG Jedi. Literally just got home from my day and it's the nighttime. I have been so busy lately, it's been crazy. Still trying to get out those videos for you guys. And today, or tonight rather for me, we got a sweet one. There is a new promo code in the game, S1MPLE. It, you pronounce it simple. Um, but uh, this guy is a very famous internet gamer um, who I've never heard of before, <laughs> unsurprisingly. But uh, we get 20 XP brews, we get XP banners, we get one, two, three, four energy refills, and a meaningless amount of silver. I mean, that's not bad. All right. So yeah, if you have not used that promo code yet, type it in there. Um, and then tomorrow, we're going to get a new little daily login reward champion in the game. Um, I don't think that he is in the game yet, but he looks like he's going to be in High Elves. Um, we, I think he is a legendary champion, and this is who I was talking about when we said the new ninja is coming to the game. Okay, so I, I let you guys know about this um, a few weeks ago at this point, and now it's finally here. So he is not in the game as of yet, even though it starts tomorrow. And uh, if they would have told us this ahead of time, I would have told you if I knew it. Um, I did announce the winner for that video. I posted that in the comments to the winner. Um, I had to submit that winner before this information came out. Uh, so I couldn't wait until this announcement was made. Um, additionally, we found out today that uh, we found out today that under the daily login rewards, after we finish Cleopteryx, there's going to be a new champion. Okay, and that's pretty exciting. Um, but his kit does not look that great. Anyway, his name is Scion, and he is an epic champion. He, I don't know if we know his faction yet. Oh, no, we do. He's Demon Spawn. Of course, because we definitely need another Demon Spawn, right? Um, so let's come down here. And we're, he's already in the game. Scion is already in the game. Oh, my goodness. Why is Scion in the game, but, uh, but Simple is not? And we don't even know the name of the character for Simple's character. But it looks pretty much exactly like him. Um, <clears throat> but uh, everybody's making some uh, jokes about this character looking like the Borg. Which kind of he does. You know, he kind of looks like a Borg with some wings. He looks like a Raid Shadow Legends Borg. Um, except he has very tiny legs. They're very small. No muscles on those legs. Very disproportionate. I don't know what to say about that. But make sure you use your promo code. Hopefully you have finished your fragment event for Vildrax because that is uh, running out of time here. I think Vildrax is actually a much better champion than uh, Scion is. Um, and probably... Scion was a little bit harder to get, but it is what it is. <clears throat> I was very tempted to pull some, some, well, I'd have to buy them, buy some more shards for Genzin, but uh, it would be like $120, and that's, you know, obviously above the low spend budget, but also... I don't really want to spend that right now, so I'll, I might regret that not pulling for Genzin right now, but, uh, you know, we'll see what it is. But just to give you some updates on the account, this last week has been crazy for the account, okay? We pulled Yakarl the Scourge out of very few Void Shards. We pulled, um, 
who else did we pull? We pulled El Gaius. And actually, off camera, I also pulled Roshkard the Tower. I was kind of planning on making a video uh, saying, I, now we have all of the unkillable champions on one account. He was the only one I was missing. We have Demitha, Warcaster, Tower, the two Man Eaters. It, it's crazy. We just have all of the unkillables. Um, but I'm not in a super big rush to level him up. At least at six stars. Um, in terms of epics, I did um, I did pull Magnar, which is very exciting. So uh, I also, man, I'm having a hard time talking today. Um, Magnar, I think I'm going to run Masteries on him tonight to finish leveling him up. But uh, let me know in the comments below, are you excited for the new simple character? Um, do you think he's going to be High Elves or another faction? And while we're at it, what should be my next 6-star? I was thinking about a lot of these champions that are level 50 right now. Um, Steel Skull or Hoffries would help me clear Skinwalker's Faction Wars. Um, Allure is you know, going to be in a million of my team, so she's insanely good. I was thinking about doing Rector Draft because obviously she's amazing. And with the revives... Um, we need to work on her gear, but that's another story. I don't know. I kind of wanted to do Kratrexa, but I don't know if I would actually use her outside Faction Wars. And to be honest, Magnar is actually better than Kratrexa. And that's pretty bad. Pretty bad. But, um, tons of stuff going on in the game right now. Um, I feel like we're going to get another big announcement soon as well, but that's just a feeling. I, I don't actually know anything. <laughs> that's just what I feel, because Polarium has been pushing pretty hard lately um, with, you know, all of the content in the game, and <clears throat> coming up here in the next couple weeks, we should be getting the Hydra in the game as well, which is super, super exciting also. Now... Um, let me know in the comments below, what are you most excited about? Uh, and, you know, just tell me how you're feeling about the game. I have been absolutely enjoying myself, super loving it. I've been grinding really hard in Faction Wars. Um, my Demon Spawn is kind of hurting. Or oh, this is Orcs. Oh, I just completely miss misread that uh but after i gear up this uh after i gear up this duck the pierced i can take him out or take her out put put him in something like that we're going to definitely be able to make some progress here and then as far as the other factions go knight's rev is pretty bad as well but we're on the level 14 boss uh we pulled faceless which is pretty exciting as well as a dupe Sinatia. Uh, we got Burgoth if we would want to use him. I don't know. Pestilus has been pretty disappointing. And then Renegade is just not, this is not her, her place in Faction Wars. But overall, we're making a lot of progress here. We're at, you know, 579. Um, you know, so a little over halfway. Uh, for a lot of these factions, you know, like Skinwalkers, we're on 60 Dark Elves, we cleared. That video will be coming out soon. And I need to make a video on Ogren. That was my first clear. Um, but I need to actually make the video. So uh, definitely making a lot of progress. And we have good champions to invest in. Just need the time to level them up. So we'll see. I doubt we're going to be able to get uh, Lydia before Shadowkin comes in the game. Uh, but if not, you know, then we'll just, we'll just clear Shadowkin and then get Lydia. It's fine. Uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal. So, tons of great stuff coming in the game. Hopefully your shards went well. 
and uh, hopefully you got some awesome new champions this weekend. And if uh, if you're a spender, maybe you picked up a couple of good deals as well. So um, quick little video for you here tonight. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me for more future videos, and uh, let me know what you're feeling about the new ending. I've been absolutely loving it. I hope you have too, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.